Welcome to Dubai and the 10th and final race weekend of the 2017 TCR International Series. The United Arab Emirates provides the backdrop for the two races that will decide all three TCR championships, bringing the curtain down on a series that has spanned the globe from Georgia in April to China just three weeks ago. Four men are still in the hunt for the driver's title. The series leader is Jean-Carl Vernet. 21 points behind is the Hungarian teenager Attila Tashi. Mathematically still in with a chance are the two-time International Series champion Stefano Camini and Tashi's mirror racing teammate Roberto Colciago. But the pair are 42 and 46 points respectively behind Vernet, with 55 on offer here in Dubai. Yeah, I mean, pressure, pressure. We just have to take the, uh, the weekend like the other weekend and, and that's all, try to do a good, good job in qualifying uh, to be sure that we're on the front rows and score good points and, and we see where the other guys are. I try to think about the least I could but as the weekend is coming closer and closer I, I realize that it's impossible so I try to put it on the side and concentrate on my job this weekend to make the maximum and I hope I can make it. Nothing is impossible for sure but I think I need a miracle, <laughs> a miracle to win this year. But I will, try, I will try to do my best and uh, to enjoy uh, the last race of the season. I'm still uh, pushing for try to win the championship, but uh, it's a little bit tough with the point and uh, we will see what's going on during the race. Vernet is the clear favourite to win the TCR title and could clinch it in race one. Tashi, though, is determined to take the fight down to the final race while Comini and Colciago know that their slim hopes of the driver's crown now depend on mistakes and misfortune, befalling the two men at the top of the points table. From Georgia, if, we, if you could ask me, like, what is my expectations for the year, I wouldn't say that I, was, I will fight for the championship lead or the, for the championship until the last round of the season. You know, I think I've been uh, learning from my mistake from last year, getting experience in touring car. Um, I, I mean, trying to score points everywhere. It's, it's good for the championship arrive at the last race with the four drivers that they can win the championship. So it's, it will be a really tough race and uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm excited also to do this race. You know, in the life you win, you lose. Also, it's motorsport, it's life. And uh, I enjoyed a lot uh, my true uh, championship and it's a new, new history now. Since the UAE weekend takes place on a Friday and Saturday, the event timetable was run 24 hours earlier than usual, which meant qualifying took place on Friday afternoon. The two-stage qualifying session couldn't decide the drivers' championship, but it could certainly affect it, and everyone was keen to get out of the pit lane and on with the job. One of the four men in that battle for the title was effectively eliminated in qualifying when Roberto Colciago didn't make it through to Q2. Mathematically, it was still possible, but the Italian would have to win both races from 17th on the grid. His young teammate Attila Tashi did go through, but it was a subdued performance from the 18-year-old Hungarian after an engine sensor problem in free practice meant he hadn't had as much track time as the others. Stefano Comini too went through, but it was a close run thing. In 16th place with two minutes of the session remaining, an aerodynamic toe from his teammate Frederick Vervisch helped Comini leap to P5, and so he went safely through. Like Tashi and Comini, Jean Calvenet made it safely through, but the smouldering brakes on the Leopard WRT Volkswagen told their own story about just how hard the Frenchman was pushing. Dubai is clearly a track that favours the golfs as both the West Coast Racing VWs went through. Benny Leuchter was third fastest in Q1, despite the fact that the German driver was making his International Series debut. Just as in China, the two Hyundai i30N cars of Gabriele Tarquini and Alain Menu were in the top 12. But the car's temporary homologation meant they weren't eligible to go through to Q2. It was left to Denis Dupont to set the fastest time in Q1 in the come to you Seat Leon, the young Belgian driver going just over two tenths of a second quicker than Tarquini. In all, just a fraction over a second covered the top 17 cars, with the top 12, minus the two Hyundais, going through to Q2.
Again, Tashi was a little off the pace and finished the session in 10th place. That meant he'd start race two on pole, but the Drivers' Championship could well be settled by then. Comini was ninth quickest, just over a hundredth of a second faster than Tashi, so the Audi would be alongside the Honda on the front row of race two. Gianni Morbidelli was fifth fastest, one of four Volkswagen drivers in the top five. But those five were separated by only 34 hundredths of a second. Things were that close. Pepe Oriola's Seat Leon was the only non-VW in the top five. With the Spaniard out of the driver's title fight, his aim was to help Luke Oilcraft Bamboo beat Mira Racing to win the team's championship. International Series rookie Benny Leuchter was third fastest, part of an all-Volkswagen top three. Vernet was well aware that he couldn't win the title in qualifying, but the four points he'd earned from qualifying second meant he was now 25 points clear of Tashi. Just finishing race one ahead of the teenager would give Vernet the title. Drafted into the Leopard Racing WRT team to help Vernet was Scotsman Gordon Shedden, a three-time British champion. Amazingly, despite never having driven the car before he arrived in Dubai, Shedden was fastest and so would start race one from pole. Left it pretty late, you know, obviously 14th after the first part of qualifying, but to, to go, and get, you know, go and put it on pole position, it's great. It's brilliant for Leopard Racing. It's great. We've got a 1-2 and JK's right up there for the, for the championship as well. So perfect result in qualifying. Now we can uh, start to think about what we're going to do tomorrow if we take a good start. I don't know, I don't know the grid uh, for tomorrow first race, so we'll see. But uh, I think, yeah, like we said uh, before the race, we just uh, try to do like, uh, like every weekend. And uh, yeah, there is no... More, more pressure than usual, so that's no, it's good. Let's see tomorrow. Confirmation then that it'll be a Leopard front row for race one, with Tashi and Kamini in those positions for race two. For Tashi, starting from 10th in the season's penultimate race, it'll be a tall order to catch and pass Vernet, if he's to stand any chance of keeping the title fight alive until the very last race of the season. What's more, both the teams and the car model of the year titles were still to be decided. And a very warm welcome to Dubai for the final two races in the 2017 TCR International Series. Rounds 19 and 20 will round off the year and will decide all three titles of the TCR International Series. Welcome then to the Dubai Autodrome. It's Mark James with you for the final time this year, talking you through the two of today's races. Uh, round 19 we have coming up in a few minutes' time that's the man who we'll be talking about in a few minutes when we do the grid. It's Gordon Shedden from the UK who will be on pole. Pepe Oriola, always the joker, and jean carl Vanet, all resting on him because it looks as though, barring disaster, he will be the 2017 TCR International Series Drivers' Champion. On pole position alongside Vanet with Benny Leuchter making his debut in the TCR International Series in third place. So one, two, three for Volkswagen alongside Leuchter is Pepe Oriola, row three is Gianni Morbidelli and Denis Dupont. Uh, behind them is Aurelien Comte and Dan Lloyd. Stefano Camini is alongside Attila Tashi. James Nash and Frederick Vervish, Alain Menu and Josh Files. And then it's Dusan Borkovic alongside Matto Homola. Three and a half kilometers, this national circuit at the Dubai Autodrome. Race distance, as you see there, 17 laps, standing start as per usual. What will the two Leopard WRT cars do at the start as they head down for turn one? We're waiting for the lights to go on. There they go. Moments away from the penultimate race of the 2017 TCR International Series. Shedden makes a brilliant start. What happened to Vernet? Oriola already passed Vernet in the run down to turn one. And Oriola tucking up behind Gordon Shedden. And Oriola alongside Shedden, forcing the Scottish driver out. It's Pepe Oriola who leads into turn one. Everybody safely through, I think. Some running wide, some running very wide to avoid the, the hoardings there. But Pepe Oriola out of the hunt for the driver's title, but knows that he's got it all to do for the team. Look on Craft Bamboo will be delighted with that start. And Gianni Morbidelli. A problem for the Italian in the West Coast Racing Volkswagen. 
and uh, that was Homola diving up the inside of Vavish, beautifully timed by Homola, but he runs slightly wide. Vavish comes back at him, and that's Menu in the pits. Disregard. Vavish coming under attack now from uh, Gabriele Taquini, who dives up the inside, and that right hander turns seven. Oh, a little bumping from Matto Homola as he muscles his way past Vavish as well. Leuchter in close attendance. to cut the corner, but really nowhere else to go. Contact with Vervish, who avoids contact with the wall. But there was a definite nudge between the pair. That's uh, between Oriola, between, uh, excuse me, Homola and Vervish. Having, oh, Dan Lloyd, what's happened there? Contact with the barrier for Dan Lloyd. Now, was that assisted into the barrier? Hopefully, we'll get that as a replay. That's the, the right turn up the hill into the the link section. Tarquini, lights flashing, goes up the inside of Comini. Now there is Dan Lloyd in the background. Hopefully we can flick back. Indeed we can. And Colchago in the mix as well. Who hit who? Dan Lloyd definitely coming off worst. The safety car has been deployed. So that's one of the three Luke Oil Craft Bamboo cars out of the frame. And that's Andrew Chisholm, the reaction of the Luke Oil Craft Bamboo team manager. As the marshals are now with Dan Lloyd, stricken Sayat. He picks up the pace, we're almost game on once again. They come down through the link. They're coming down towards turn 14. We'll be racing again in a matter of seconds. They turn onto the start-finish straight. They'll take the green flag and we'll be on once again. So Tashi has dropped back. There's too much of a gap, I suspect, between Vernet and Tashi. Oriola leads from Shedden, from Nash, from Jean-Carl Vernet. Tashi now right up behind the Volkswagen. Will we see Tashi make a move on Vernet? Indeed, there is Dupont front right puncture on the Sayat. I don't want to jinx matters as Tarquini just takes a look up the inside of Vernet. And a clean pass again from Tarquini. Vernet again very sensibly letting the Hyundai pass. So Nash now defending from Tarquini, but pulling off the racing line as Tarquini goes through on the inside of Nash. Through turn two they go. Tarquini now up into the podium places. And Tarquini is slowing. Tarquini is back right off. He was right up with Shedden, and we saw a moment ago that the, the gap had opened. Tashi takes a look, but decides better of it. Vanay holds the line. So we're on the last lap. What can Attila Tashi do? Can he extend this championship battle to go down to the final race of the season? This lap will decide it. Tashi's up there too, but he really, really has to get past that Volkswagen. Vene has the line. He goes through the right-hander. Vene takes third place from Nash. That surely is it, because Nash is now ahead of Tashi. So Pepe Oriola takes the win from Gordon Shedden from Jean-Carl Vanet, who finishes third, and so takes the title. Jean-Carl Vanet is the 2017 TCR International Series Drivers' Champion. Disappointment, frustration for Attila Tashi, but the battle for the team's championship will take our focus in the final race of the season. That's the result of round 19 of 20 in the TCR International Series. The podium place is taken by Pepe Oriola, Gordon Shedden and Jean-Carl Vanet, with Nash, Tashi, Files, Comini, Homola, Borkovic and Kajaya rounding off the top ten. All the applause, all the congratulations from the Leopard WRT team for Jean-Carl Vanet, TCR International Series champion. That's the picture which will be on the websites, the forums, and the magazines in the next few days. Jean Calvene. Happy for me, for the team. It's been a really tough year for us. 
with a really bad luck, uh, in, especially in Burina, where we were close to get back on the championship. We had a gearbox uh, failure, so it's really happy to end uh, with, a, with a win. John Carbonet cannot now be caught, and so Attila Tashi is uh, not entirely secure in second place. Kamini could still catch him by winning, with Tashi failing to score in uh, the final round. Tall order, I know, but there it is. Uh, we did the job. We wanted to do it in race one, so I think we can be really proud. Proud of us. It was a tough, tough race, tough battle. Um, like you saw, it was no team strategy. <laughs> So I have to uh, do it by myself. I take a really bad start. I nearly stole. I don't know what happened because I work on that and all my start during the practice were really good. But no race after was, uh, was okay. I had still the same braking issue as in qualifying. So it was tough. I tried to do my best to stay calm. I mean, I'm, I was the most experienced guy compared to Hatsila, but congrats to him. Took a really good first lap. I mean, I think he did everything he can do. And uh, now I'm just really happy. So congratulations once again to Pepe Oriola on taking that victory, having won at opposite ends of the season. Taking, took victory in race two at the opening round in Georgia, and uh, victory number two in the opening race here in Dubai. Andrew Chisholm collecting the trophy for the winning team. focus of race one here in Dubai was all about the Drivers' Championship. The focus for the final race of the 2017 TCR International Series switches slightly. The Drivers' Championship has already been secured by Jean-Carl Vanet. I was trying to do my sums hurriedly in the last moments of the first race, but I can tell you that Mira Racing has secured the team's championship. They cannot be caught. So the attention switches to who will finish as runners-up. We look at the lights. The revs rise. We wait for the lights to go on. All on. And I'm not sure if Tashi moved just before the lights went off. He seemed to creep forward. Will that be referred to the stewards? Pepe Oriola makes a stunning start again. So there is Oriola in the middle of your screen with uh, Gianni Morbidelli just nosing ahead. James Nash on the left in the other. Red and white Sayat. It's Tashi first to turn one with Kamini. Then Morbidelli has this contact in midfield involving James Nash and Oriola. They take to the escape road running across the runoff area in turn two. But really nowhere for them to go. But we will need to see that uh, start back again. I'm sure that Tashi jumped the start. Oh, and a contact involving Gabriele Tarquini's Hyundai. And again, the... Oh, and that's a, a big thump from one of the Seats. I think it was James Nash into the side of Gabriele Tarquini. No, indeed, was that Oriola pulling over? So Tashi then comes to the finish line at the end of lap one. It's Tashi from Comini from Morbidelli from Dupont, Files, Vavish, Nash, Vernet, Homola, and Leuchter. That's your top ten, and indeed it was Oriola tangling with Tarquini. All I saw was the, the number four on the windscreen. It was either 74 or 54, as it's Dusan Borkovic diving up the inside of Gordon Shedden, but Shedden retakes the position as the Serbian driver runs wide. So a brave move from Dusan Borkovic, but you can't do that to somebody like... Uh, Gordon Shedden and get away with it. Shodden, Shedden retakes the position. Oriola is in the pits. There he is. Possibly the incident involving Alain Menu as Borkovic is looking at Gordon Shedden once again. That was where he briefly passed Shedden and then shot Shedden said, thank you very much, we'll have that back. There is Matto Homola out of the car in the pit lane. Contact again, this time between Menu and Nash. And it's one of the West Coast cars, possibly Leuchter. Indeed, it's Leuchter in the 13 car that had to take to the runoff to avoid that incident, coming up the link section between the two parts of the international circuit that enable this uh, particular configuration of the autodrome here in Dubai to run as a national circuit. And a drive-through penalty for Attila Tashi for a jump start. And through the pit lane comes Tashi, very sensibly taking his drive-through penalty. Where will he... Now, look at this. There's Tashi on pole position. He definitely moved. 
unfortunately we didn't get the the lights in the top of your screen but to my mind watching the lights and watching tashi he definitely moved before the lights went out so that's the cause for the drive-through penalty where will he have rejoined Oh, a bit of a slide on from Dupont. Has, it, has that allowed uh, Files to come back at him? Files almost up alongside, but I don't think can make it stick. Files diving to the inside, forcing, it, forcing a mistake from Dupont or not. The pair go up the link. Dupont has the line, though. That was good driving from Files. Really threw a curveball at Dupont. It forced an error. But indeed, Files wasn't able to capitalize, not quite able to just squeeze past. Files, though, has the line for the right-hander at turn 14. Files moves alongside. Files takes the position. Josh Files moves into third place, going around turn 14 and up the start-finish straight. Josh Files moves into the podium places. The two teammates, remember, come to you racing running the two Audis for Kamini and Vervish and the Seat of Dupont. Vervish moves alongside and indeed takes the position. So too does Jean, uh, does, uh, Jean Carl Vanet, forcing Dupont to run wide. And so Vervish and Vanet. Oh no, indeed, the Seat driver comes back and Leuchter is up there too. Just uh, moves onto the gravel at the inside, kicks up a cloud of dust. But indeed, Vanet is held at bay by Dupont. So it's only Vervish that takes the position. Vervish moves into fourth. Dupont now fifth ahead of Vernet. Um, this battle, I don't think, is uh, decided in any way, shape, or form. Leuchter is looking up the inside of Jean Carl Vernet, but thinks better of it. Dupont runs wide, and Vernet takes the position. Jean Carl Vernet moves into fifth behind Frederic Vervish, easing out uh, Denis Dupont, who drops to sixth place. So then, oh, and a lock-up from Dupont. Gets it all wrong coming down the hill for the right-hander at turn one and coasts off the track. Alongside Kajaya. Kajaya, though, not giving ground in that little Alfa Romeo. Comte, though, has the position. Kajaya's coming back at him. Kajaya runs across the rumble strips. And that's Tashi just behind them. Tashi desperately needs to do something. This is the scrap for the points. The positions just outside the points, excuse me. Tashi desperately needs to do something. There he is tucked in at the moment, just behind Comte. Kajaya ahead of him, Nash ahead of him. This is the final lap, and if I'm not very much mistaken, it would appear that Tashi is where he needs to be. He's in 12th at the moment, but remember, the two Hyundais are effectively transparent. No points for them, and so I think Tashi is in the position he needs. We're looking at the race leader. Stefano Camini comes around turn 14 for the final time to take the checkered flag, and so his third victory of the year. He won in Spa, in Monza, and now here in Dubai. The winning margin, 1.19 seconds over Gianni Morbidelli, but has Attila Tashi, by finishing in 12th, done what he needs to do? Because if you take away the two Hyundais, that means effectively he's 10th, and he should, if my sums are correct, have finished as runner-up to Jean Calvinet by just a single point as Stefano Camini celebrates his, his traditional style. And indeed, there are the driver's points. A single point separates Tashi from Camini. So frustration for the Swiss driver, but uh, a brilliant, dramatic way to end the season here in Dubai. Confirmation then that Stefano Camini takes the victory from Gianni Morbidelli and Josh Files with Vavish, Menu, Leuchter, Shedden, Borkovic, Tarquini and David Kajaya rounding off the top 10. Yeah, exactly. It's a great victory. This is what we can do if we start on the front. The problem is to start on the front. <laughs> As you know, I'm, I'm quite happy for this weekend. Car was, uh, was still a little bit hard to drive. But in race two was uh, was okay, was a good car, and it permitted to me to arrive to the end. Jean Calvenet might have secured the driver's title in race one, but what a dramatic finish to the season! Attila Tashi finishes as runner-up to Vinay by just a solitary point 
from Stefano Camini. What a dramatic way to end the season. And what a way for Stefano Camini to bow out as TCR International Series champion. Frustrating, but also, I suspect, pleased to end the year with a win. So that then is the 2017 TCR International Series. Thanks for joining us across the season and for all your feedback and comments on social media. From me, Mark James, and all of us here in Dubai, a very goodbye.